This is how I start every day, dude. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I studied with uh, Professor John Layton. And I didn't know it, but I had picked up the glass blowing fairly quickly, and uh, <clears throat> he was kind enough to pull me aside and say, you know, I have no doubt that you'll be able to make your mark in the glass world. But I didn't know what that meant, and I didn't really care. I just enjoyed it so much. I didn't really know it, but my whole world was involved in three dimensions, you know? It's like sometimes I thought an artist was somebody that did drawings or paintings or illustration. And it turns out that uh, I was doing everything from building cars to building skateboard ramps. I ended up falling into glass blowing in school and also sculpture. So realizing that I had an affinity for working with materials in three dimensions didn't occur to me until basically. So I was, a, I was a, a professional gaffer, which basically just means that I was a lead glass blower for several different teams up in San Francisco. And you're a facilitator as a gaffer. You lead the team and you realize projects or objects for other people. And I love that part of the job as well. or team strength, that that has to come from the lead gaffer. Um, and, you know, really the important thing there is including people and give, giving them an understanding that their 100% <laughs> is like a massive part of the uh, equation. So each person is giving 100%. Some people work in a very specific way that works for this company, and those are the people that I'm attracted to. I think it goes back to that interesting kind of let's see what's possible. You know, like I ask myself questions or I challenge myself um, as much as I can in terms of the creative process and the actual physical process of blowing glass. So, of course, it's totally elating to be able to repeat something over and over again. But, you know, the saying in my head is essentially you're only making Joe, you're only making this object one time, even though it's a repeat of something that we know to do. And staying focused in that kind of present moment is the most rewarding for me. I think that it's funny, you know, you see all the objects that we make, so we produce about 4,000 objects a year here by hand, and that is residual. It's the action and how I did that day, or how the team responded to issues we were having in a certain piece, or just being able to kind of um, problem solve and uh, persevere. But that keeps me like really excited every morning. Every day is different here. Um, I'm a huge proponent for generating community, and what that means to me is involving people. Whether that's in the classroom or hosting events here at the studio, um, you know, I think that is a giant part of who I am. So there's like no doubt and no denying that I pull from mid-century modern aesthetic. Kind of like, how can I pay homage to those things without uh, copying them, but essentially paying them forward and making them contemporary? My iconic brand. Like, you know, you see a collection of things in a magazine or a collection of things uh, in film and you can spot my stuff a mile away. This is a craft that has been around for 2,000 plus years, and it's my job to uphold it and stay true to my work. My name is Joe Cariotti, and you're at Joe Cariotti Glass in Los Angeles.